Night on Evening Magazine, we'll introduce you to a local Pittsburgh man who is one of Hollywood's leading monster makers. Furry is full of monsters and madmen. You might recognize them from films like Friday the 13th and uh, Creepshow. But what you might not know is those monsters came from Pittsburgh. For those of us who enjoy scary movies, the moment of horror is always unexpected. For years, we've covered our eyes and peeked through our fingers at Hollywood's version of big screen ghosts, haunted houses, and other unexplained events. But perhaps the most heart-stopping moments of all are coming face to face with monsters. Although Hollywood has created many of the monsters seen throughout horror film history, there are some that originated here in Pittsburgh. Tom Savini is a special effects makeup artist. He has designed and created many familiar creatures. Raoul and Fluffy of Creepshow fame. This charred figure from The Burning. And the frightening Jason from Friday the 13th. Tom has also worked on many films directed by George Romero. And he is the artist responsible for these zombies in the movie Dawn of the Dead. I deal in illusions. Um, a magician, when he wants to fool you, he'll make you look here while he's preparing something here. Uh, I do the same thing on a movie screen. Uh, we show you only what we want to show you. We use the misdirection by making you look on one side of the screen while the creature comes up here. Tom's interest in special effects makeup started at the early age of 12 when he stole his mother's compact and started experimenting. But if he wasn't in front of the mirror, he was very likely here at the Plaza Theater. Ah, uh, the Plaza. <laughs> this place hasn't changed in 20, 25, 30 years. Really? Yeah, with coffins on the ceiling there, so. <laughs> um, kids went into the bathroom, the scary parts would come on, but I would... For Tom, stay there. walking through these doors Suffer meant out. spending time with the closest of friends right from the movie screen. Uh, that's where I first met Frankenstein and the creature from the Black Lagoon. Dracula and all those other wonderful friends <laughs> when I was a kid. You know what's ironic? Um, the reason I'm doing what I'm doing is because of that magic. You know, I'd come in and I would believe that the creature from the Black Lagoon or Frankenstein, they were real things. It wasn't makeup. They were real monsters. You know, I'd hide my face. I'd be scared. But I would always peek a little bit because I had to see because I wanted to be those monsters later. Those scary creatures Tom remembers from his childhood have influenced his own monster making today. But Tom draws on real life as well as celluloid experiences. He served as a photographer in Southeast Asia and saw firsthand the devastating effects of the Vietnam War. And perhaps that's what makes my stuff stand out. I try to, to recapture that feeling that I got when I saw the real stuff. Tom was known in his early career as the master of splatter. Splatter films are those that rely heavily on graphic gore and lots of blood. But these days, Tom would rather concentrate on the bigger challenge of making monsters. Well, let's just go down here. And you can meet some of my friends. <laughs> okay, this is uh, Nate's corpse from Creepshow. Uh, an actor wore this, and we put maggots on it. It's made from Rice Krispies, latex. Really Rice Krispies? Right, right. Rice Krispies works real great. Good decay. This is just the gorilla that I'm making to freak out the kids this Halloween in the neighborhood. Well, this is uh, Raul. We nicknamed everything in Creepshow because if I had to tell the crew, go get me the corpse with the with white hair, it was really hard. So we just said, go get me Raul or something like that. Head turns. Alongside Tom's basement monsters is a battered workbench that stores all of his special effects secrets. A quick glance reveals eyes, a dead rat, teeth, tools, and a forgotten photograph from an early film. But not all of these supplies are meant for monsters. Some are used for heart-stopping effects. I noticed you had a wart on your arm. <laughs> I can take care of that easily. Really? really?
little jumpy there, Alice. <laughs> This trick is only to be used by experts like Tom. The razor blade was sanded and dulled. The blood was fake, but the scare was real. And that's what it's all about for Masters of Illusion. Tom Savini is one of the best. It's everything. I mean, that's what I do. I deal in illusions. People say, God, you're sick and you're demented. I don't look at it that way. When I see a gory effect, I, and I say, oh, that's beautiful. It's not because it's gory, it's because it's an illusion, a technical effect that worked. This weekend, Tom Savini is very busy. He was given a wonderful opportunity to create and design his very own haunted house at Fort Bragg in North Carolina. I imagine it's a haunted house no one will